This will probably be a short webinar today. And as I mentioned just a few minutes ago, um, there are only seven of you in the advanced class. And that's actually, it's a small class, but for an advanced class, it's actually quite large. We typically only have maybe one or two students who take the advanced class any given semester. So um, both of you who were attending this webinar, Alexis and Roberto, um, had me for the intro class. Um, and you've already done all 12 lessons. Uh, and you pretty much have a pretty good idea of how I teach. But for those of you who took Chris Wilson's introductory class, this is also really pretty much for them. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to share my screen and I'm going to cover some things that uh, may be sort of redundant. But um, I'll go ahead and I'll go back so we can go to, come on, come on, there we go. <clears throat> Okie doke. So um, I consider my personal website um, home base for my class. Now everything is also available on Canvas, but I, um, um, I typically uh, like using my website more than um, Canvas, but you can use either one for this class. Um, so uh, let's go to a couple of places that you'll need to go to. Um, we'll start with Kirk's classes. And this is really the, the tab that you'll need to use most. Um, to start you off for this class, as I said, I typically don't have much in the way of um, advanced stuff. So let's, um, by way of introduction, um, introduce you to the first project that you're going to have this semester. And you can begin right away. Um, the handout is available on the um, handouts page. And I call it the Invisible Man Project. There are lots of other examples on the web we can go to. And I will probably do that on um, Thursday. But this is one example that um, Jacob Kopi did um, a few semesters back. Um, what you're to do is to take uh, an image. It could be an image that you have taken or one that you have uh, gleaned from the internet. Um, and it could be a piece of artwork. It could be a photograph, um, any digital art you find with people in it. And what you're going to do is you're going to erase anywhere there's flesh, okay? And then your job will be to, you know, in this case, the background image, because it's just, you know, a, a gray piece of um, uh, fabric in the back or uh, seamless, as it's called in photography. This part was easy to construct, you know, to, to reconstruct. But if we were to look at the original photograph or image that he had turned in, you would be able to see the underside you know, the inside of the hat a little bit. Also notice that the, um, the inside of the collar had to be recreated. And in addition to that, if I move off that, his hand was gripped around um, the neck in, of, the, of the guitar. So he had to recreate that. Um, in other situations, it's, you know, it's the background, if it's more complex, is difficult to, to um, recreate, but that will, that's, for me, that's a test to see how able, um, uh, you know, how familiar are with, you are with all of the tools and how you've mastered them from the introductory class. So that's what we're starting with. So that's a good example though, of the kind of projects that we'll be doing. There will be, um, technically a little bit more challenging than the introductory class and conceptually a little bit more challenging. So that's Kirk's classes and examples of, of work, um, artwork, of a, what, one of the artworks that you'll be doing. So let's go to Kirk's classes um, um, and we're gonna go to this week in class. And this is something that most of you are familiar with who have already taken me. Um, 
but um, mostly what we will focus on, uh, we'll start with looking over to the left here, is that um, I think you are, you're already aware that you need to have Adobe software to take the class. Um, and you should have access to lynda.com as well. Um, you also need the textbook, which we'll talk about in a minute. So those are the three things. So you already have a computer, you have um, connection to the internet. And um, if you don't have Zoom, this is a link to Zoom, so you can get a free Zoom uh, account. Um, for Adobe, um, if you don't have the Adobe software yet, um, maybe some of you have taken the introductory class elsewhere and not even from uh, Chris um, or me, but someplace else and you're taking this class now um, is an online version. So where you're going to want to go is to collegevise.org. Okay, click on that tab and you're going to want to click on students. And then you need to select the state or in California. You're going to submit that. And then the third one over top row, you can see make it with Creative Cloud. So this is Adobe's Creative Cloud. And this is available uh, uh, a student rate. For six months, they call it a one semester license. It's $40 for an annual license. It's $80. Um, you will not find a better buy any, anywhere else. And not only does this give you access to Photoshop, but it gives you to a number of other Adobe um, programs or applications as well. So you're going to need to do that, have that for the class. So I'll go ahead and I'll close that and I'll close that and I'll go back here. So that's collegebuys.org. That's where you'll go for that. Okay. Um, the other thing that you'll need, I mentioned, is the textbook. So let's scroll down and find out more about the class. So we're going to go to Art 192B, Advanced Photoshop slash Digital Imaging. This is a weekly syllabus that I um, supply for all of my classes. Um, you can look at the full 18-week syllabus online at either Canvas or here on my handouts page, um, they both give you a week by week kind of a, 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 a week, yeah, a, a weekly, um, what can I say, uh, information about what we will be covering. But depending, you know, I like to be a little bit flexible with my classes. So sometimes we'll speed up, slow down, or change projects. But this is where you'll find out, um, you have the link to the webinars that I'll be pro providing. And as I mentioned, if um, not many of you want, want to or need to attend our webinar for the advanced class, um, I'll combine it with the intro class. So we'll only have uh, webinars on Mondays and Wednesdays. And that will be at 2 o'clock. So it, it, it's really up to you. Or I can um, leave this time or this slot open for individual critiques or in, um, for individual webinars. Um, it's, it's up to all to you what you want to do. So this is, we meet at Tuesday, Thursday at 2 for the webinars. And you can see this is what we're doing today, introduction, classroom procedures, OK? And what you need to do for today um, we'll talk about that more in a little bit, is to create your, your Google Drive folder so that that will be the place where you upload files um, of your assignments, your le both your lessons and your assignments. Um, on Thursday, um, since you're in the advanced class, um, the only, you're only responsible for two lessons in the textbook, and that's lesson 13 or no, I'm sorry, three lessons, 13, 14, and 15. In my introductory class, we did lessons one through 12. The first lesson, um, lesson 13, is preparing files for the web, and that's what I will cover um, on Thursday. Okay. 
for the textbook, um, again, this is, uh, I don't, I believe that Chris does not use a textbook for his class, but I use the Adobe um, Photoshop CC uh, 2020 classroom in a book. If you click on this link, it will take you to Amazon. You can buy the Kindle version, you can buy paperback, you can buy new, you can buy used, it really doesn't matter to me. For those of you who had Chris and did not do any of the lessons in um, classroom in a book, um, or uh, if you want to do the lessons, you're welcome to do so. In all of the tutorials, the webinars that I did were recorded and are um, available for you right now on Canvas and also on YouTube. Either, either location will, will get you there. So this is the textbook that we'll be using. In addition to that, though, I plan on um, using some lynda.com videos, maybe focus a little bit more on um, camera raw and some advanced features that are available that we haven't covered before. So we'll probably watch some tutorials here and I will record them and make them available um, on uh, uh, Canvas since, you know, but you will have access to lynda.com as well. So that's, um, that's that. So I'm going to go back again to my website. Okay, so that's the textbook. Um, and it's an ancillary source. I just mentioned lynda.com. And if we click on this link, um, it will take you directly to lynda.com. But uh, this costs $25 a month, okay? And that's for most people out of, their pro out of the price range. It's a little bit pricey. However, if you go to, and I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to close this, and I'm just gonna put in a brand new one. And this is, uh, if you go to the LA County library okay so where it says la county library curiosity welcome <clears throat> and you go to their website um what you want to first do is get a library card if you don't already don't already excuse me have one and um, you can do that online now and so what you want to also do after you get your library card is get a PIN number. And then when you go to um, access lynda.com, you'll do it not from Linda, but you will do it from the LA County Library. And you can see here is lynda.com right here. And if I click on that, it's going to ask me. And I already have it saved in the browser. Here's my library card number. Here's my PIN number. And then I can go ahead and I'm, I can log in. Okay. And I have a number of playlists that I have available, but this gives you access to all the tutorials, all the videos, all the classes that are available on lynda.com. And there are hundreds, if not thousands of them on a variety of different subjects. And Photoshop is one of the biggest subjects, um, beginning with, um, uh, or starting with beginning level through um, advanced, very advanced and specialized things. So if there are things that you are interested in, since this is an advanced class, please let me know and we can make this available for you. Okay, where I can look into it myself and maybe we can tailor some of the projects um, to your specific needs. Okay, so that's lynda.com and that will be done through the LA County Library. So I just closed my, um, shoot. So I'm gonna go open this back up again. There we go, I just closed that. I didn't wanna do that. So we're back to my website again. Um, if you go to um, Canvas, some of the projects that I have, um, as I mentioned, if we go to modules, um, really, I included all of the modules from introductory class from last semester. So for those students who have ha had Chris or have never had me, 
if they want to do these tutorials or these lessons, it's fine. But really what you need to do, and I will change these up, instead of lesson two, we're going to start with lesson 13 and then go to 14 and 15. So those are really the only three lessons that you need to do. As far as the projects are concerned, that we will, as I said, we'll be doing technically more advanced projects and uh, also conceptually more advanced projects. So um, let's look at that right now. I need to look at, where is it? Um, probably staring right at it. In fact, I know I am. I don't see it. Oh, assignments. There we go. Right there. So these are the, the four assignments plus lessons that you'll be responsible for. The first one, which will take you into maybe, you know, fourth week of class is the Invisible Man, Invisible Man Project while you're working on lesson 13. Then instead of a movie poster, we're going to do a public service poster an art parody assignment, and then there will be a final individual project. So let me show you one example of the public service poster and some examples of art parody. Since I'm already here, um, let's go back to here and let's go back to Kirk's classes. And I'm gonna jump to Oh, come on, where did it go? There it is. This is a really good example for a public service poster. It's an excellent, excellent poster. And it's conceptually strong and it's technically strong as well. That this one pertains to global warming. So what he did is he collected, um, Carlos collected a whole slew of images, ping files, off the internet of uh, both New York cityscape and um, some uh, lots of different animals that he found and um, an image of Noah's Ark and that sort of thing and uh, created this composite or collage okay so and it was a very it's a very subtle approach to global warming sea levels are rising take action and I think the image is so powerful, it just speaks volumes as to um, the crisis that we're facing with global warming. Later on, if you want to do anything pertaining to gun control, if you want to do anything about smoking, about drug abuse, whatever, there's a whole slew of things we have, you know, we're um, under lockdown due to the COVID-19 um, the pandemic, so that might be a good topic for you. So that would be a good one to do. So that would be your second, second assignment. The third one um, that I'm switching to, and that might be a short one, or um, I have this under a number of files available um, in, on my Pinterest account, and where you'll take a selfie and then you'll integrate the head of a famous art person into um, that selfie. And you can see that there's a variety of them here that are really pretty good from Pablo Picasso to Dali. Um, they're really um, pretty interesting. So we can look at these individually where they blend in them together really wonderfully. So this might be, and we could do a different one. It's not, this is not chiseled in stone. Okay. We can do this, you know, in a number of different ways. So there's a lot of different projects that we could, that we have here. So I'm going to go back to a home assignment or some home page here. Come on. Oh, come on, come on. No. I didn't mean to do that. Let's go back. So I goofed. Let me go ahead and go back to Pin. Well, I won't even go back to Pinterest. It's not necessary. And then the final project, as I mentioned, will be one of your choosing. 
So um, needs to be conceptually strong and advanced technologically. I would prefer if you use your own photographs. Um, so if you're taking a photography class or if you, you know, enjoy it, photography as a pastime, that would be great, but you don't need to. Okay. So that's, um, those are the, the project, projects that we'll be working on in the assignments or the, the lessons that you'll be doing. And as I said, in addition to that, we'll be also watching some lynda.com videos for some advanced techniques that um, you should probably think about, you may run up against. Now, one other thing that I need to cover, um, not for the two of you who are joining me today, but for those of you who had Chris, is that I want to make sure that um, you know about um, the, let's see, know about Google Drive. So let's go all the way back here. And I'm going to go to Google Drive. There we go. So let's go in here. So this is for the advanced for my, my 3D modeling class. But let's go to Google Drive. So what you need to do today um, is you, if you haven't already done so, you need to email me at kirkmillerart at gmail.com. That's kirkmillerart at gmail.com. And in the subject, you need to put your name, art192b, and the subject will be Google Drive. And I am combining both, um, or maybe I did make it separate. I can't remember whether I did or I did. No, I made it separate. So here is the art192. Um, no, 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 wait. There we go. Uh, what I do? Here it is, spring 192B. So I did create a separate folder for all of you. So when you email me, I will invite you to join um, and accept uh, your access to this Google Drive folder. And when you do have access to it, then what you'll do is you'll go inside and you can see that I have all the lesson files that are available that are needed for this project. If I double click in here, um, you can see that we have lessons 13, 14, and 15. And there's all the lessons that I had for my uh, introductory class as well. And I made a folder for myself. You know, how you make a folder in Google Drive. Once you gain access to it, and it looks like um, a couple already do, but they haven't created their folder yet, is you right click on here or control click and select new folder. And when you do, just name it, you know, give it your name, and you, just as I did with myself. Kirk Miller and I use camel casing. So Kirk is in lowercase and then I have initial a cap for Miller. And this is where you will place all of your finished files. Another thing that I want to emphasize that I forgot to mention with my introductory class um, uh, yesterday is that when you turn in your files, I want them to be um, Photoshop files. And I want to make sure that you leave all of the layers. I don't want it to be flattened or collapsed in any way. I want to see how you have constructed your project project. So if there's if it includes type, it will be a type layer. If you include adjustment layers or I want to see the, the entire process of how you reached your final goal. So that's how we're going to um, uh, how you're going to turn in your projects. And Chris may have done the same thing. I'm not sure to be quite honest. Um, so that's that. So let's go down here. Where are we at? Yeah, we've run to the half half um, half a half an hour um, mark, and that's pretty much where I figured it would be. So um, let's go back to Kirk's classes. Let's go to the weekly syllabi. And um, let me think if there's anything that I'm missing here. I have a little outline here that I need to look at. Um, 
I think that's pretty much it. Um, again, there will be some modifications to the modules for your, um, your class. Last semester, I only had one student who really didn't complete it. So there wasn't much in the way of modules. But because there are so many of you, um, I'm going to need to revise that and beef it up a bit. So when I record, for example, um, lynda.com videos, because they are copyrighted, um, I will not be able to put them on YouTube. Um, they will be on uh, Canvas only. But um, if you go to my channel, or if we let's, let's just go up here to Kirk's classes, um, and you, this is where you gain access to my orientation video if you've already watched it, which is on YouTube and it's available on Canvas as well. And here are the video tutorials. And I will, after I complete this one today, I will make a, um, um, a folder for you, or um, should I say um, a playlist and then um, for any of the, the videos that I make specifically for this class this semester, they will be here. But also, you can see from last semester, they're here as well. And the ones that are in Canvas are the ones that are linked to these videos. So you can see I have one for, um, um, these are liked videos, but you'll also see that I have one for my web class. I have one for Art 192, Art 192B, and Art 195, and Art 195B, and Art 196 for this semester. Okay, so they can be found here as well in my um, Kirk Miller um, channel. Okay, so that's where you'll find that. So that can be accessed through Canvas or it can be accessed through my website here. So I think that's pretty much it, unless you have any questions. So what I can do now is I will pause the recording. And um, if you have questions, please raise your hand and you can speak or, yeah. So one of the things, there aren't any questions by any of you, but uh, which is okay. But what I wanted to do is that while I, it's not mandatory that you attend the webinars, um, it is required that you check in with me once a week. And you can do that either by attending the webinar, and I will take role at that time. So that will be under attendance down here. And then um, another way of doing that is a simply email at kirkmillerart at gmail.com. And just say, hey, this is, um, I don't know, this is Alexis, whatever, I'm checking in, or this is Anna, um, and uh, just let you know I'm here, I'm alive. <clears throat> and, um, um, you know, give me a heads up on what you're working on. And um, if you want to share anything with me, if you want any feedback um, while your work is in progress, that would be great. I think that's a wise, wise, wise way to work. Okay, so um, that's it. I will stop sharing, continue recording. Um, and if there aren't any questions, we are done for today. Okay, and we'll talk more on Thursday and see if it's really necessary for us to have. Um, well, I do have a question for those of you who are attending today. And if you know, if you plan on attending um, the webinars, would the Monday, Wednesday at two o'clock class work for each of you? Does it not work for any of you? So if we can condense this into uh, just a, uh, a one webinar for my Photoshop classes, that would be great. If not, then um, I need to know. And we'll, I'll just keep this one here. I can leave it and then we can use it as needed. But I'll check in periodically and if no one's here, no one's here and I'll shut it down after 10, 20 minutes. Okie doke. Well, if that's it, then um, uh, 
Okay, so Alexis, if it's okay to combine it, if that's okay with everybody, then that's what I'll do if I hear back from others. I will keep this for the time being, but what I can do, what I can do tomorrow, for example, is address um, your class first and um, get you started and get you make sure um, that you're working on the project. Okay, so great. Yeah, and in any event, you'll be able to, you know, if you have a question for me, just let me know. Um, and I will, uh, we can set up an individual webinar or we can do whatever, you know, takes to be in touch. Okay, so um, that's it. You guys are free to check out and I will um, stop recording this and um, say goodbye for now. And um, hopefully I will see you either tomorrow or um, Thursday. Okie doke. Um, but get started with, make sure that you you create a folder on Google Drive. That's the first thing that you need to do. Um, the second thing to do is, is to look at the handout on my handouts page for the, um, the Invisible Man project. And you need to get started with that. You'll have like four weeks to work on it. And again, pick something that's um, ambitious, something that you can really sink your teeth into and challenge your um, skill level with this project. And if you need to, you know, you'll have time to just, you know, nix it and to start over and, you know, do whatever. Um, it's an advanced class. So again, it's to fine tune and to hone your skills in Photoshop. And I think this will be one of the, the projects that will um, enable you to do that. Okay, doke. Okay. So I'll say goodbye for now. And I'm going to go ahead and um, pause this and I'll wait for you guys to log off and then I will end the webinar. Bye-bye.